All right, welcome to podcast number nine, uh, active transport and endo and exocytosis. All right, what is active transport? Well, it's really the movement of molecules from low to high concentration. And as you can see, that means you're going against the concentration gradient. So remember we draw the concentration gradient, we draw it as a triangle. And down here at the bottom, we're going to have low concentration. And remember, the brackets from the world of chemistry just means concentration. So as you can see here, we have to go uphill. And when you do that, that's going to require energy. And just like all other cellular processes, the energy comes from ATP. All right. Now as you see here in this little picture, we're showing you here a protein pump. And this is going to, it's going to push this molecule, this red molecule, which represents some kind of random molecule. As you can see on the outside of the cell, oops, that's a little too big. Let's make that line a little bit smaller. All right, this is the outside of the cell, and then this is the inside of the cell. And as you can see, when you add the phosphate from the ATP, you cause this protein to, to change shape. And then this will push that molecule against the concentration and move it into the cell. So this changing the shape of the protein is very important. In fact, that's how most things that involve a protein, this is how things happen. All right, so remember, active transport, you're going against the concentration gradient, and that is going to require ATP. All right, so very important. Make sure you can remember that. Put a little star next to that. All right, endo and exocytosis are both cellular processes. And if you look at the word, it's just telling you what it, what's going on. So you see this word, the IS here at the end of the word? That just simply means process. And then the cyto part, C-Y-T-O, that refers to cell. So when you put these two together, you have a cell process. And endo means that you're coming inside. And then exo means that you're going out. So... Endocytosis is a process of bringing stuff into the cell, and exocytosis is a process of bringing stuff out of the cell. All right, now endocytosis comes in two flavors. The first one is called phagocytosis, and this prefix phago means to eat. And so if you Really, what the, if you were to translate the word, it would mean cell eating. So this is a process of bringing in solids into the, the cell. So, for example, when a white blood cell is going to eat a bacterium, that is a form of phagocytosis. The other flavor, or the other type of endocytosis, is called pinocytosis. And pino refers to drink. You guys ever hear of a wine called Pinot Noir? All right. So, you know, you, you drink it. So this is cell drinking. Whoops, misspelled drink. All right, so this would be bringing in liquids or oils or something like that. And, and it's really done the same way of phagocytosis. The cell is going to wrap itself around whatever particle it wants to get done. All right, so now when you look at these pictures, on the left, picture A is phagocytosis. Here's a bacterium. We're going to pretend that this uh, this bluish cell is a white blood cell. And as you can see, as this thing gets engulfed by the bacterium, it's going to be form a vacuole. And so this little bubble right there, that would be called a food vacuole. And what will happen is a lysosome will come over here and fuse with it, make this vacuole bigger. It will dump in its uh, digestive enzymes, and it will break down this bacterium. Okay, over here, in picture B, we have pinocytosis. And we're going to say that these little molecules right here, this is a liquid. And it happens exactly the same way. The thing gets pinched in by the cell membrane. It forms another one of these little vacuoles or a vesicle. The only difference between those two is size, vacuoles being a little bit bigger than vesicles. So these are essentially the same process. The one difference is... In phagocytosis, you're bringing in a solid particle, and in pinocytosis, you are bringing in a liquid molecule. All right, exocytosis, bringing materials out of the cell. Now, in this picture that you see on the screen right here, you have on the left side, you have exocytosis, and on the right side, 
I'm sorry, I have them backwards. On the right side, you have endocytosis, and then over here on the left, you have exocytosis. So here's your solid food particle. It's being wrapped inside, or being wrapped around by the cell membrane. Here's your food vacuole, like we saw on the previous slide. Let's see if I can spell this right. There we go. And then as you can see here, here comes the lysosome. So all of these yellow things right here, those are the digestive enzymes. So these enzymes are going to break down this, this green piece of food. And as you can see here, the nutrients that the cell needs will leave the vacuole. The waste products will move out in the process of exocytosis, and they're delivered outside the cell and gotten rid of. All right, so exocytosis is kind of just a way that the cell is going to use to get rid of waste particles. All right, so remember, endo, you're coming in. Exo, you're going out of the cell. And this involves the use of membranes and vesicles. And so as you notice, like in a cell, these membranes and vesicles, they're always moving around. They're extremely dynamic. Uh, the cell membrane is not a static place. There's always movement and change on it. All right, that will conclude podcast number nine. One more to go in this chapter, podcast number 10. Don't forget to look at every single one of these podcasts as you prepare for your test.